1122, changing out the capacitor. First thing you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, medium head, you can either manual or you can get an electric one. Second tool you're going to need is a small flat tip screwdriver. That's all you're going to need for doing this job. All right, there's six bolts, two, four, six. Remove those six screws. Take out the top cover. Nice and gently, you want to strip out the screws. So this is going to, uh, shouldn't take too long to do this job, probably about 10 minutes. If that, pull up the cover. You might have to wiggle this out a little bit, bring it up, and the cover is removed. Now the capacitor is inside this spray cover underneath here. Same thing, it's got two, four sets of screws. Gently pull it up, and there it is, the capacitor itself. I'm going to take the small flathead screwdriver. There's a brown and blue. I already took it out the brown wire, turn it counterclockwise. I'm going to do the same with the blue, counterclockwise. The wires come out, it's removed. You take the new one. Oop, wrong one. Take the new one. I usually do take the brown wire with the brown lead on the other side. It don't matter which one goes where, because it's only a capacitor that's for the starter for the, for the electric motor itself. Gently push it in, you can feel it. Turn it clockwise. Give it a little tug, you know you're in there. Do the same to the left side. Push it in. Counterclockwise, give a little tug, you're done. You see the little slots here? That's for the wire so the capacitor sits in there. So it keeps the rail from not bouncing around too much. Just take the wires gently, push it down to the side, and you can hurt anything. She's off. Okay, if you want to test your capacitor, make sure you did everything well. Plug it in, safety first, hit the reset, and then you can hurt if you turn it on, turn it off for a couple more. 10 15 seconds. He fires up. He's doing his job. Turn it off. Plug it. Now you're ready to reassemble the cover. Do the same thing. Like you're taking it apart and put it back together. Reverse. Pull it down gently. Up, not too tight. Park anything. A little mess. Okay. That's done. Alright, the final about last is the last cover. It goes on the top cover. And just take this and gently line up the holes. Push down a little bit. Make sure it lines up. Which it is. It doesn't matter what side or what, what position you want to start the screws. And I have a, like a ratchet torque screwdriver, Phillips. Now you just change out the capacitor. Job well done.